What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Today we are running over the Psychic Delinquent Mini. That's right, this is a mini scooter specifically designed for the five to nine year old age range that really take their riding to that next level. My name is Billy Watts. I'm gonna be running through it today. Let's get right into it. So first off, on the left over here we have a psychic deck. Now this is 18 inches long by 4.7 inches wide. We have an IHC Oath Component Shadow Fork. We have a pair of Triad Smuggler aluminium bars. Boom, 110 mil Oath Bermuda wheels. We have 165 mil Oath Bermuda grips. And last but not least, we have a two bolt Oath cage clamp V2 I might add. So let's go ahead and grab the deck run over a couple of the specifics on this deck. Of course, the beautiful full length, hand drawn graphic. We got the blues, the greys, the purples, all the good colors mixed in right there. Delinquent mini across the bottom, really nice detail throughout this graphic. Now we have a plain sheet of black grip tape, highest of quality I might add. We have an extruded bridge on the head tube right here that has been tested by all of our team riders. We're gonna go ahead and grab our pair of forks. Boom. Just like that, to match the graphic on this scooter, we've made sure that this fork is triple anodized with the blue, purple, and titanium color. It looks really fresh. Now this fork is forged and CNC'd. Gone through a lot of work to get you this nice detailing right here. As mentioned before, it is an IHC fork. We're gonna go ahead and slide the fork straight up through the neck tube. Boom, just like that. We'll grab our IHC shim, which has an inbuilt crown race. Boom, straight over the top. We'll get a little bolt straight over the top and we'll tighten it up. Now one thing I should add is you definitely do not have to do this with your scooter when you purchase this. It does come assembled in the box. All you have to do is chuck the bars straight over the forks like this and tighten up the clamp and you're good to go doing this today for the purpose of a custom build video. And it also does come with a six mil Allen key in the box. So you don't even have to worry about that either. Pretty nifty. All right, let's loosen this up. So I'm gonna need myself a set of wheels. Now for this model, because it has been tailored for the five to nine year old age range, we have gone with a pair of 110 mil wheels. We didn't wanna make that clearance too high off the ground there. 110, comes in perfect. Feast your eyes upon that beauty. Now it's a triple anodized oath component, 110 mil Bermuda wheel, 26 mil in width on the urethane right there, 24 mil at the core. Now we have put a lot of time and effort into the urethane of this wheel. So it is a tactile urethane with a high rebound formula, meaning it's gonna be a little bit softer on those hard landings. I'm gonna turn it this way, slide the wheel straight up. There we go. Other space is gonna be right there. And boom. Boom. It's as simple as that. That's the front end done. We're gonna move on to the back end of the scooter. Let me flip this around. As you can see, we have nothing in the back end right now. So first of all, we need a brake. Just like all of our other models in our current range, we have a V2 fender and brake system in the one, which is pretty nifty. Gives you that option whether you wanna run a fender or a brake. Give you a quick example of how this works. Got a six mil bolt at the bottom here. Okay. I'm gonna quickly loosen that. You got a fender right here. So you can choose to slide that straight in your deck. Or we have the brake portion here, which I choose to run on my scooter. Now one more thing to add with this deck is there are markings on the deck and it says 110 and 120. So this is to help you determine where you should be having your brake. So for this model, we're running 110 mil wheels. So I'm gonna put it on the 110 mil notch. Now we're gonna need an axle and some spaces on the back right now our mini gridlock system. So this is a system that eliminates the use of spaces, slots straight into the back of your deck, saves you a lot of hassle when you're trying to play around, get your back wheel in. So it slots in just like this, bang, there we go. One more thing about these wheels, 230 grams per wheel. So they are lightweight. There we go, back wheel straight in. We're gonna put the axle halfway through. We're gonna get the second gridlock system and slide that one straight in the other side. Boom, axle straight through. It's as easy as that. It really does take a lot of that hassle out of your back wheel, trying to tighten it, change out wheels, all that kind of stuff. 
I used to always lose spaces and it would be quite frustrating. Not anymore. Look at that. We're absolutely flying through this. Now I'm gonna flip the scooter around. And of course, we're gonna need a set of bars and a clamp, trusty dust cap, straight over the top. Boom, there you go, gives it that nice flush look. Next up, we're gonna grab a set of bars. There we go, would you look at that. 19 inches wide by 19 inches high, aluminium, seven series triad smuggler bars. Got the forged gussets on here, which gives it a really nice look. They're super lightweight, there's no weight to these suckers. So they're gonna be really good for all your bar spins, tail whips, make sure the, the strength of the scooter is high, but the weight is down. So we've gone with a pair of 165mm oath Bermuda grips in that really nice colorway that is gonna match the wheels, fork, clamp, graphics, which makes it a really nice looking scooter. Now, of course, I gotta use my trusty hairspray. Just like that. Pretty simple. If you are gonna use hairspray, make sure you allow for 10, 15 minutes for it to dry before you jump on your scooter, otherwise you're gonna have throttle grip. Last but not least, on the bars is a pair of bar ends. You certainly should be running bar ends on your scooter. Makes it a hell of a lot safer. There you go. Now we use 25A TPE material on our bar ends. Boom. Look at that. That is one sensational looking bar with a nice pair of grips on it. Now we're gonna need a clamp to clamp the bars over the forks. So last but not least on the custom build is our two bolt V2 cage oath component clamp. Would you look at that? It's got some nice cutouts on the side. It has been forged. It has been CNC, so you have a really nice detailing on the back. And of course the colorway, triple anodized. Whew. Which means every single time that we make this color on any one of our products, it is gonna come out different to the last time. So every time someone purchases one of these scooters, it is unique to the last, which is a really cool little feature. So we're gonna chuck that down there. And the bars are gonna go boom. Look at that. Now on our scooters, we actually have an alignment system. And what this is, is there is a little mark on your fork, on your deck, on your clamp and the bars. So we're gonna slide that straight over the top. Boom, just like that. We're gonna line up this little mark to the one on the deck there, to the clamp, to the bars, and boom, would you look at that? Nice and straight. All we need to do now is tighten up the clamp. There we go. Just like that, the scooter's built. Now, one more time, 6061 T6 aluminium for the fork and the clamp and the core of the wheels. Seven series aluminium on the bars and the deck, so it is gonna be really dent resistant. Make sure it's nice and lightweight as well. And you're probably thinking to yourself, how much does this scooter weigh overall? 3.15 kilos. That's right, it is really light. So all the younger five to nine year old shredders out there that are looking for a scooter that take their riding to the next level, this one, you're gonna be throwing it around with ease. You know what, I might even film a video on this myself. Might jump on this, Throw down some back flips, front flips, whatever I can do. Who thinks that would be a pretty good idea? Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. So last thing that I want to mention about this scooter. Right here in front of me, we have the blue, purple, and titanium colorway, but it also does come in another color. Boom. There you go, two options of colors in the Triad Psychic Delinquent Mini range. Pretty nifty, both triple anodized, both gonna be unique every single time you grab one. As you can see, the colors of the graphic certainly match all the other components on the scooter. And there you have it. That is everything you're going to need to know about this scooter. This one is absolutely wicked. One of my personal favorites, especially for the younger kids out there. Thank you for tuning into the video today, guys. We hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you click that subscribe button below. Hit the like button. It really helps us out here. Stay tuned for plenty more videos coming very soon. Peace out, guys.